This is a video about a station-wise approach to liver anatomy for linear endoscopic ultrasound. Endoscopic ultrasound has been increasingly used for the evaluation and management of liver disorders over the last two decades, so a detailed understanding of liver anatomy is crucial. Unlike in pancreatic U.S., when examining the liver, there are no fixed own bases. Liver cannot be entirely scanned by U.S. from one location. Left liver is better visualized from the stomach and right liver from the duodenal bulb. In this review, we aim to provide a comprehensive description of liver anatomy as visualized by a linear echoendoscope correlating EUS images with CT images. Liver is divided into two amylivers, right and left, by an imaginary line named Cantus line that contains middle hepatic vein and passes through IVC posteriorly and gallbladder fossa anteriorly. Left amylever comprises segment 2, 3, and 4, and right amylever comprises segment 5, 6, 7, and 8. Left amylever is again classified into left lateral segment 2 and 3, and left medial segment 4 sector by left hepatic vein. Right amylever is further classified into right anterior segment 5 and 8 and right posterior sector segment 6 and 7 by right hepatic vein. Starting EUS examination from the gastroesophageal junction, transducer is naturally facing anteriorly the left lobe. Segment 2, closer to the transducer, is separated from segment 3 by a branch of the left hepatic vein. It is confirmed by the triphasic Doppler wave of the left hepatic vein and monophasic Doppler wave of the segmental portal branch of segment 2, named P2. Slightly pushing the scope down with a gentle clockwise rotation, P2 and P3 can be seen converging into the umbilical portion of the left portal vein. From this position, ligamentum teres, the fibrous remnant of the umbilical vein, is seen along with the umbilical portion of the left portal vein on the lower left part of the screen. Segment 3 is seen close to the transducer above umbilical portion of the left portal vein and segment 4b is seen below. Keeping the umbilical portion of the left portal vein in view and pulling the scope with a slight clockwise direction, ligamentum venosum can be seen as a thin hyperechoic fibrous band connecting the umbilical portion of the left portal vein and IVC. With a tiny adjustment of the scope, middle hepatic vein can be seen below as a tubular anechoic structure maintaining its diameter. From this position, ligamentum venosum divides segment 1, closer to the transducer, from segment 4a, that is divided from segment 8 in the lower right part of the screen by the middle hepatic vein. Segment 4b can be seen below the umbilical portion of the left portal vein in the lower left part of the screen by following the middle hepatic vein, pushing further the scope into the stomach. On minimal withdrawal and clockwise rotation, right hepatic vein can be seen along with the IVC that separates segment 1, closer to the transducer, from segment 8 that is divided from segment 7 by the right hepatic vein. From the umbilical portion of the left portal vein, left portal vein can be visualized with a clockwise rotation and followed up to the hilum of the liver along with the main portal vein and right portal vein that is running down in the lower part of the screen away from the transducer. From this position, segment 4 is visualized closer to the transducer and segment 5 is visualized in the lower part of the screen below the main portal vein and right portal vein. Right hepatic artery can be seen running close to the right portal vein as confirmed by Doppler arterial flow. 
slightly pushing the scope down, keeping the main portal vein in view. Liver hilum can be imaged with the common hepatic artery closer to the transducer and the common bile duct in the lower part of the screen below the main portal vein. If we push the scope further, gallbladder can be imaged together with the adjacent segment 5 below. To study the right liver, the scope is passed through the pylorus, advanced to the apex of the duodenal bulb, and pressed against superior duodenal angle. From this position, the portal confluence can be seen with the pancreas head on the upper right side of the screen. With a counterclockwise torque, the portal vein can be followed to the hilum of the liver until the common hepatic artery is seen below. Applying a further counterclockwise rotation, common hepatic artery can be seen crossing the portal vein and branching into the gastroduodenal artery on the right side of the screen and proper hepatic artery on the left side of the screen. With a counterclockwise rotation, portal vein can be followed up to the hilum, where it branches into the right portal vein, closer to the transducer and running on the left side of the screen, and the left portal vein, running away from the transducer in the lower part of the screen. From this position, segment 4 is seen in front of main portal vein division. Rotating the scope counterclockwise and releasing the big knob down, right portal vein can be traced until segment 4 is seen on the right part of the screen and segment 5 on the left side of the screen. With the big knob released, applying a slightly further counterclockwise rotation and keeping the tip of the scope in contact with the duodenal wall, right portal vein can be traced until it branches into the right anterior and right posterior branches. Right anterior portal vein serves segment 5, closer to the transducer, and segment 8 in the lower left part of the screen. Right posterior portal vein serves segment 6, closer to the transducer, and segment 7 in the lower right part of the screen. Right anterior portal vein can be further traced to its division into the branch to segment 5, close to the transducer, and segment 8 in the lower part of the screen. From this position, with the clockwise rotation and progressive up movements of the big knob, right portal branches can be followed back to the right portal vein and to the main portal conflux at the hilum of the liver. With the counterclockwise rotation, the transducer is facing posteriorly and the IVC can be imaged with the right renal artery below, branching from the aorta as confirmed by Doppler flow. Right renal artery can be followed to the right kidney, our landmark to image segment 6, that can be seen above it on the left upper part of the screen. Gallbladder can be seen also from the duodenal bulb closer to the transducer with segment 4 below. In conclusion, we can say that the expanding scope of endopathology has highlighted the increasing importance of U.S. in liver assessment and intervention. As a consequence, understanding liver anatomy using a linear echoendoscope can significantly enhance U.S. guided interventions. A station-wise approach to liver anatomy in linear U.S. can facilitate identification of segments and improve correlation with corresponding cross-sectional images.